do you remember was it three years ago when the twins were hitting all those home runs they broke the record for home runs and um yeah this is not that team uh, they're still going to score some runs they still have some exciting players buxton that you see there um you know they went from first to worst last year um they won they won the division the year before and they finished last last year they, you know they said all kinds of all kinds of things happen now they have picked up a couple players they picked up uh, carlos correa big pickup um, you know I'm I'm surprised he went there. I don't know if there's a connection with the coaching staff or players um, or the city and, that I don't know because uh, the Twins, they're not going anywhere. There, there's still too, too many holes. Pitching again is going gonna, is gonna to bo- uh, you know, bother them. Um, I, wish, I wish I had my – I think I took off the rankings for the, the, the minor league system. I'll have to pull that up. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I'll do this on my computer. Why? Because I think I actually changed it from the scenes – there but yeah the the twins is you know they're gonna struggle they're gonna struggle again it's gonna come down to pitching again with with them again this is a bad division too this is not a this is not a really good division so you know only winning you know but i had 76 for for the royals or somewhere around there that's not you know that's not saying much because this division is horrible Uh, how many would they win if they're in the national league or american league east i don't know Uh, let me see if i can pull this up real quick uh it's my computer's struggling to do that. So I'll, I'll do that as we go. Uh, but let's take a look at the Twins lineup here. Let me get back to my screen here. So, yeah, they, they have some nice they have some nice talent here. Um, you know, a decent decent uh, lineup. You know, Gary Sanchez is, waste, is a waste. He's he's awful. I mean, he had, you know, he has some numbers, but it's, you know, they have other people. They have other catchers almost ready to go. So you're not going to see much of Gary Sanchez, you know, getting Gio or Shallow. I think that was a good pickup, you know, it's, but is he better than Connor Falella? No. So they're taking a step back at shortstop, good character guy in Gio, but you know, you're taking a step back at shortstop, you know, Sanchez doesn't help you. Um, you know, Polanco's solid, you know, Carlos Correa, he'll put up some numbers uh, hitting in front of Polanco. Um, uh, Byron Bruxton. So Bruxton has to stay healthy. You know, you know, you know, one of the questions I'm asking myself, how can they contend? Um, and obviously they have to stay healthy and they have to have career years. Now the American league central, I think you can take all, you can take four of the five teams and kind of mix them up. I think there is the bottom two, the middle two and the top one. Uh, but would it shock me if the twins finished third, second or third? Yeah, I guess it probably would. Um, but you know, you know, again, this division is this division is weak. But you know, they have some young young talent. But they need Buxton to stay healthy. If you haven't seen this kid play, you know, make sure you watch him. Uh, he's 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 exciting to watch. I think he homered today. Um, yeah, and seeing Carlos Correa in a Twins uniform is cool. You know, again, it's a good baseball town. I I remember when uh, Target Field first opened. I was up there for for work uh, that April when it opened, and I got to go to a game. Uh, before it got really uh, crazy up there. So that, that was kind of cool. Um, and I like Minneapolis. Minneapolis is a fun town. I spent some time there when I was younger. Uh, I saw Prince there a couple times and saw Stevie Wonder there. That was cool. I have great memories of that. So, um, yeah, I'd like to see them do well. Um, I like that stadium. Again, I, I, I root for a lot of teams. I have my two teams, but I, I don't really want teams to do poorly. I, I, I find I'm rooting for players a lot, especially since I follow the minor leagues uh, in college baseball. Um I find I find I root for players a lot, but I don't want to see anybody do poorly, um, even my within my own division. Except there's a couple like the Cardinals. Then, yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll get there when we get to the get to the Cubs episode or the the National League Central. Anyway, let's take a look at the pitching. Um, they did pick up Sonny Gray again. Sonny Gray, you know, is a, is a decent name from the last few years. You know, he had that really great year with the A's and just really hasn't put it together really since. I remember really wanting the Cubs to sign him at that time. Um, but, you know, they picked up uh, uh, Sonny Gray. Joe Ryan's uh, uh, a good young arm. Uh, you can see all his hair hair there. Uh, didn't have a ton of innings last year. Uh, so I know they're relying on big things from Joe Ryan. Um, again, if they have – you know, if they get some career years from people or really solid years or unexpected years from people uh, and they don't toss the ball around, uh, avoid some, you know, major injuries, like if Buxton goes down, Correa goes down, you're done. Uh, but, you know, could they climb the ladder a little bit, um, notch some things up? Because, again, it's a, it's a weak division. 
yeah, they could do it. You know, Minnesota has surprised us many times in the past with, with teams we didn't think were going to go anywhere. So, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, uh, Royce Lewis is a stud. Uh, you're going to see him. You're going to see all three of these guys this year. Um, and I tried to just pick prospects that I know would see time. You know, they probably saw some time last year. You know, are on the borderline. I'm making the roster or the lineup now. Uh, Royce Lewis is a is a is a stud. Um, so uh, you're going to see him. You're definitely going to see Austin Martin as well. Gives them some flexibility in the infield. Um, and I'll have to look. I do have this up um, just to refresh my memory. Uh, go back to my thing here. I do have the prospects up. So let me pull up um, Minnesota real quick. So Minnesota's top prospect, their top prospect is uh, Royce uh, Royce Lewis, and he's he's major league ready. Um, again, I have not paid attention to the final, not the final, but the le- most recent cuts. Uh, two of their top five, you know, Jose Miranda is in there as an infielder as well. So they're 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 top ones I have up here uh, on my roster. Roy, uh, Royce Lewis is not. Uh, he'll be there soon. Austin Martin um, is coming, and also Joe Ryan. Uh, so Joe Ryan, still only 25 years old, has has a little bit of experience. Uh, so you're going to see him. Um, Johan Duran, too, another right-hand arm that you're going to see probably. You're probably going to see Josh Winder, another 25-year-old. Um, uh, Simeon Woods Richardson, he's a young kid um, in Double A. We'll see where he starts, whether he starts in Double A AA or Triple A. But so they have some they have some pitching talent in their minor leagues. They definitely have pitching talent more than anything else. Uh, uh, and some 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 guys that are ready. Some guys are ready at least tease uh, and show in the major leagues and see what they can do. Again, when you're you know down down towards the end of the the raw the uh, standings, it's easier to kind of play around with and get get a look at these guys. So uh, so yeah, let me go back to over here and take a get a little snapshot of the Twins. Yeah, there's your lineup, your rotation. And again, if you're fantasy players, I guess you can kind of pay attention to this too. I do not play fantasy. Um, have not in a long time. I did when you know, kind of first started, but too much work. Um, so I have them at 79 and 83. So again, a few more wins. I had, I think the Royals with two more wins. I have the twins with what? Six more wins. Uh, with six more wins. Uh, so they're climbing the ladder a little bit. Um, so yeah, so we'll see. We'll see again. It's going to take, you know, it's going to take, you know, Again, guys having career years, avoid injuries, having some unexpected things happen with players that you weren't uh, anticipating, it, which always happens every year. Uh, so they could they could come up. Could I see them getting up to to uh, eighty wins? I don't know if I can see this team getting eighty wins. To be honest with you, even if all that happened, um, but you know, and would and would eighty wins get them past? I'm sorry, uh, eighty five wins. That's where I'm shooting for. Would eighty five wins get them past the the Tigers, the Indians, and the White Sox? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It could. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, again, I do have the minor league affiliates down there in the lower left if you want to take a look at that. You know, for example, you know, the, the Twins uh, payroll is $113 million, so they, they've spent some money. Um, it's not the Dodgers' money, you know, with 275 or whatever they're at, 290 or whatever they're at. Uh, but, you know, for a small market team, you know, 113 is, you know, not horrible. You know, they signed Correa, uh, Buxton. They're gonna, they have some, they're going to have to pay some people here too. Um so we'll see. We'll see how the Twins do. Um, I have several fr- friends, good friends that are Twins fans. So um, as long as you don't win when you're playing the Tribe, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, so that's the Twins at 79 and 83, fourth place in the American League Central. Let's go to